What happens when light passed through a material? Will it be absorbed by a material, reflected off of a material or pass through a material? Suppose there is a light ray passing through air and is shined on an object at some angle. Several things may happen. First, some of that light may reflect sort of like when a ball bounces off of a wall. That is called reflection. Some of that light will transmit through the object. This is called transmission. In other case, if the transmitted ray will bend slightly when it enters the object. This bending is called refraction. Probably have seen this bending if you look through a glass of water with straw. Now, the light that propagate through the object. However, the object is absorbing, particularly for some wavelengths of light. This means that a tiny fraction of the wave will get absorbed and converted to heat for every little distance it travels. Overall, the intensity of the light will decay exponentially. This is called absorption. So, when the light interacts with the object, some could be reflected, absorbed, transmitted, or refracted. So, the light passes through objects in different ways. By considering these effects, the materials can be grouped according to how they allow light to penetrate them. In the previous video, we learned about the reflection of light from several objects. In this video, we try to learn about light transmission and absorption. The light transmission take place through transparent materials. The word transparent is used to refer to something that is see-through or clear. So, transparent objects are items through which you can clearly see things that are present on the other side by looking through that item. Almost all the light that comes in contact with transparent materials passes directly through them. As a matter of fact, you even see intricate details such as colors through transparent objects. Materials like air, calm water, and clear glass are called transparent. When light encounters transparent materials, almost all of it passes directly through them. Glass is a perfect example of a transparent object. We can see through a window because of its transparency. Transparent objects transmit a lot of light. Unlike transparent objects, some objects do not allow the light to transmit because the light waves are re-emitted or absorbed by the object called opaque objects. Opacity is also known as the reflection or absorption of the light without transmission. Opaque objects block light from traveling through them. Most of the light is either reflected by the object or absorbed and converted to thermal energy. Shadows are formed when light hits an opaque object. Your body is opaque which is why sunlight cannot pass through you to reach the ground. Absorption is when light is completely taken in by an object and doesn't pass through or bounce off. This is the process that occurs in opaque objects. The absorption of light generally takes place at the interface or the boundary of two different materials. When the light radiations fall on the surface of an object, a portion of the energy contained by the light waves passes on to the particles of the substance. This increases the value of internal energy possessed by the particles of the object. Some portion may reflect or transmit. There are several objects present in our daily life that are capable of absorbing light. The opaque objects such as wood, coal, book, and stone do not transmit light and form the perfect example of objects that are capable of absorbing light radiations. Black color is usually considered to be a good absorbent of light radiations. The light falling on the surface of a black colored object does not bounce away, but instead, it gets absorbed. This is the reason why black clothes are generally avoided during the summers or in regions of high temperatures. Vantablack is the darkest known material that is capable of absorbing approximately 99.98% of the light falling on its surface. The absorption of light is the phenomenon that enables us to visualize different colors present in nature. When a ray of light falls on the surface of an object, a portion of the wavelength contained by the light gets absorbed by the object, while a part of the wavelength possessed by it gets reflected. Different value of the wavelengths present in the light radiation corresponds to different colors. 
The wavelengths absorbed by the object are not visible to our eyes, while the reflected wavelengths help us identify the color of the substance. To see more videos like this and please consider subscribing.